the first major overhaul in a site from Spot Hog in an eternity, the Spot Hog Mooney. You're gonna want one. Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm FJJ here with PodiumArcher.com with too much coffee in my system. Hope you're having a good day, I am too. This is the Booney site. This is a, a video that I was a little nervous to make because I don't want 10,000 emails of when, it, when are these gonna be in stock. I don't know, I can't answer that question. Please God, don't email me and ask. Please don't message me on Instagram and ask, when are you gonna have Boonies in, in stock? Because quite frankly, folks, this thing's gonna be hard to get for at least a year, in my opinion. I'd be surprised if they get it resolved sooner than that because the demand for this site is so great. Why is it so great? Because Spothog has a name that everybody really likes for the most part. They make really good product. They've just been ignoring a couple of adjustments for a really long time that I really wish they would have changed. Well, they finally did and they finally addressed it with this site. What's different? One, it doesn't weigh as much as my bow. First of all, the site's way lighter. I mean, they're saying like 10% or 12%. It feels like it's 30% lighter. Just me, I could be wrong, I don't know but it is a lot lighter. Two, interchangeable wheel. Pop that off, pop a different one on. So if you're running a couple of different arrows, different sight tapes, I don't know, maybe you live in a thousand foot elevation, you're going to a shoot that's at 8,000 foot elevation. You could print a different tape before you leave. Swap, swap, good to go, simple, simple. Dual indicator needle on here. They do make it with a triple indicator needle, adjustable, I'm assuming on the triple stack, yes? Okay. Um, multiple base mounting systems. Bridge lock compatible, dovetail option, pick mount option. And a direct mount. This is the double pin version. 19 thousandths, 10 thousand options. Does accept a sight light. This is the same head they've made. So let's reestablish something, folks. They did not change the heads at all. So the same heads that they've always had are still available. Everything from a one pin, a double pin, a triple stack, a three pin, a five pin, a seven pin, you name it. Way too complicated, way too many choices for a site that's movable, but they're still offering it that way. So this is a double pin for our example. The attachment system unbolts here, and this is your first access leveling. It's simply, let me grab a wrench here, maybe we can show it. Now. All I did was loosen here and tighten here and we effectively changed how it pitches. We will do that in the leveling jig so you can see that as well and how it changes. Very, very, very simple solution. Not something they actually thought up. Somebody else had made something like that, but it's super simple, super easy, and allows you to change the bases out and not have gaudy, heavy bases like some of these manufacturers are using. The, <clears throat> the windage unit in here is bigger than any windage unit they've made. So the intent is that you don't have to move this back and forth a ton with an offset block that they've always offered on their sites, right through here. So this is a bunch more. It does have better positive clicks in it than they have before. You can feel it as you're moving it. And I'm gonna say nothing for a second and see if the audio picks it up. So there are positive clicks in there that are really good and solid. A right and left sticker. Hmm, why did that take so long for somebody to think to put on their freaking site? That's super simple. Lock and unlock sticker. So your, your site goes, is that out? Yeah, that's out, in. Let's see here. Oh, you turn it, my bad. Okay, so turn it that way, site doesn't move. Turn it that way, site free spools. And I wanna say you can stiffen that and still move it. Yeah, that's sweet. That is such a nice way to do it because honestly, I like my site to just stay a little bit harder to move and never lock it down. That's my preference in several of the sites out there you couldn't do that with, so that's an awesome feature. Your attachment system here is the same as it always was, so that's not different. So you're, you still have an adjustment rail independent for the head, but you also have the ability to move this part, which was my number one gripe. And the owners of this company can attest that I've been complaining about it for at least 10 years. So I'm really glad that they added this that allows you to move the whole entire site. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Every other head option that's always existed is available on there. I know I said that once, I'm just gonna say it again. Extra windage adjustment in here, but not nearly as much as they had on the other site because they gave you more adjustment here, which is where most manufacturers do it. I do like the fact that they give you both though. So it'll make this very, very, very simple to get your left to right to where you're still kind of in the middle of your adjustment here. It's very thought out. 
Like it's it's like they took every complaint that they've had over the past decade and addressed it kind of at one time, other than not changing the heads at all. But hey, we can't have everything in life. We got to be grateful for what we get, and this is a big up. All right, dovetail into the bridge lock. So this is the same fitament as before. So it's not really made for this. It does fit at the indents line up. I'm not trying to bitch, but if you're gonna go through the work of redesigning your entire site, you might as well redesign the dovetail so it actually fits what almost everybody else is, is intended to fit now. So, goes in there. Let's see what our left to right looks like. Okay, so we're gonna have to move that over a bit. And we have adjusted this site as far to the right as it'll let us in the course adjustments. So we're left with the micro adjust to try to move. And if I had to guess, that's probably about where it's gonna start from. So there's still some adjustment in the windage. Um, this site hasn't gone into full production ship out yet. So hopefully if we mention they have a little bit or it's almost out, maybe they'll do something and put a little space in there. But there is more than enough room to still move your site. So the previous comment that we made about you can be right in the middle of the windage on this, you probably can't uh, unless they do a different bracket or whatnot, but there's still more than enough. You're not gonna run out of adjustment unless there's something really wrong with your bow. If your wheeling's way out of whack or your arrow rest is positioned way too far to the right, this is the only way you're not gonna have enough adjustment with this, with, uh, with this head on it. So uh, let's try these adjustments for leveling and see what it does. And it'll clear the quiver easily, so I don't need to put that on there and make sure it's not like bumping anything because the quiver sits back behind that, so that won't be an issue. Throw that on there. Okay, so that should be level and it's already level there. So you're adjusting for, gosh dang, come on. Well, I know the rail's level now, so all I gotta do is move that back. Perfect. All right, triple check our left to right here, make sure everything's still good. Perfectly level, perfectly level, rail level, adjustment to go in either direction, we're good. Don't clamp on the top, clamp on the side, it's not level up there. So, now we'll stick it on a Hoyt with a Picatinny mount and see how that lines up. Okay, now I'm gonna unbolt this and bolt on the pick mount. So you get to see underneath what's going on under here. Don't lose the screws, we need those. I have this terrible tendency of dropping those things when I unscrew this stuff. Oh, sorry, probably about here it should be in focus. Okay, so it's a rounded contour and a slotted hole position. And that's what allows that to move back and forth on that. It's very simple and quite frankly, very effective. No reason that wouldn't work well and hold up for a long time. The other one. Okay. All right, let's put her on the bow. I'm not going to tighten that because we're most likely adjusting that anyway. I do gotta say, I know the uh, Matthews is the most popular bow, but that system works better than anything. Like that direct, simple bridge lock, Picatinny mount, lock it down. It's just a really good system and you can bump it up and down just a little bit. So I, I like this system a lot and I'm glad they made it so simple without adding a whole bunch of weight. Like this is really, really light. Like the gripe forever has been these sites are so heavy. They're not heavy anymore. Like they've really resolved that and still not given up any functionality. Uh, one other thing I should probably point out and I'm gonna mess with you for a second. I'll move it back. Not only are these heads, so not only are these heads interchangeable, they're actually slotted. If you can see them, there's another one. So 
You've probably experienced this at one point in your life, if you've ever shot a movable sight, that your impact point changed a little bit. Well, you can have indicator needles that are adjustable, but this is also slotted, so you can rotate it a little bit, along with your indicator needle being adjustable. So no matter what you do, if your impact point moves six inches, you're gonna be able to readjust it, which is really cool. Once again, super simple solution to a problem that nobody ever really addressed. Thank you for addressing that. Down there. There we go. Okay, let's adjust her. Let's see here. An upsy daisy. Tell she reads level. There you go. All right, once again, really fast, really easy. Baker makes a great product. Uh, left to right, that's about where it's probably going to end up, I'm betting. Real close, you might have to go a little bit left from there. There's not a rest on there, but I know roughly where 13 16 is. So if anything, this is going to go right there. You know, it's almost like they made this setup specifically for a Hoyt, because that's almost right in the middle of the adjustment, and the bracket really can't, the underneath bracket can't really be moved around a bunch. You, can, you only move it a bunch one way or another, and that's pretty much dead center in it when you get done. Yeah, yeah, that's about where your left to right's gonna hit on a Hoyt. So I kind of feel like they made that bracket for a Hoyt. Good on them though. All right, so let's check our rail again. I'm gonna try bolting it this way, so you're gonna have to. Well, so we already adjusted it for the Matthews and the rail is exactly the same on this Hoyt. So that means those tolerances are really good on that dovetail to that pick mount. And I'm really good at guessing this because that would have been off a little bit. That looks really square. That bubbles off just a tiny bit. So we're gonna move that just a little bit and make sure everything still looks good. So I know that rail's level, so I don't need that on there anymore. I can just watch that and adjust it. Back this off just a little bit more. I'm going the wrong way again. Give them this. Ah. No. That one's good. That one's good. Okay. She level. Tighten these back down. Oh, it's perfect. So, great fitament, lightweight, so many more features, it's not even funny. I mean, I, I really don't have much to complain about, honestly, and I know that's my job. So I guess I can say, please redo the heads. Make the uh, triple stack head smaller, lighter, and leaner, because that thing is huge and heavy. I think the triple stack head might weigh more than the whole site now. So that would be cool. Um, and yeah, oh, I didn't cover the prices, okay. so. Um, a headed sight, which you can buy the sight without a head, by the way, which will allow you to use like an ultra view or somebody else's head. So you can buy the sight without a head, but I wouldn't expect to see a lot of those early on. You'll probably see mostly ones with heads. Uh, and the headed sights start at $370 and up by the triple stack, you're about $480. There is a small price difference between the dovetails, the direct mounts and the Picatinnies, but they're really close. And then they even go up more than that if you happen to shoot like some five pin, seven pin weird conglomeration on a movable sight, which Honestly, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense on a movable site anymore, but hey, maybe that's your thing and that'll float your boat. Comment down below on what you think of this video and others. Um, and please start watching some of the other videos that we're gonna be releasing, some basic 101 stuff, some PSA stuff, and comment on those. I want some feedback from those. I need basic video ideas, not elaborate, how do you adjust the third axis on this site on a downhill angle at 17 degrees. That's not the kind of video I'm talking about. Explaining third axis. That's the kind of video I'm talking about. So give me some comments down below on things you guys want answered that kind of step-by-step -step basic things. I'd really appreciate that. Make sure to follow along on Instagram. We will be doing some giveaways this year. I haven't announced what any of that stuff is yet because I like to leave you hanging and keep you excited. And we are gonna be trying to build a bow a week to put on here too. More stuff's coming. Thanks for watching.